Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I thought I would sit down and do something a little bit different for this channel. So I wanted to sit down and do like a get to know me style Q&A as I realized I've never really introduced myself on this channel. So if you're not subscribed to my other channel or you're not following me on Instagram, you probably don't know much about me. So I asked for some questions on Instagram and I have about seven questions to answer for you guys today to hopefully help you guys get to know me a little bit better. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first question is, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? So I started out with a few options, my main two options being pizza and pasta, just because they're two things I absolutely love. And I feel like they're also just two very versatile foods. Like you can get a lot of different toppings on pizza, you can do a lot with pasta, do you know what I mean? And I honestly think to an extent it would depend what day you asked me on as to what I wanted. But since I can only choose one, I think I'm gonna say pasta because I feel like you can do more with pasta. You can eat pasta cold, you can eat pasta warm, you can have, you know, like mac and cheese, cheese and tomato pasta, chicken pasta. Like, I just feel like you can do a lot more with pasta. So I think my answer to that question would be pasta, just because I love pasta, I could eat it all the time. But if I could pick two, pizza would be a runner up, for, for sure, because I love me some pizza. Like, I love cheese and tomato pizza, I love pineapple on pizza, controversial. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does pineapple belong pizza? But yeah, since I can only pick one for that question, I'm gonna say pasta, but pizza would be a close runner up. Now this next question, I feel like I found slightly difficult to answer. I think I was trying to think of a big grand answer and I kind of had to step back and realize that it doesn't need to be something major, something huge. Like it can be anything. So the next question is, what is your proudest achievement? And like I said, I found this difficult to answer because I was trying to think of something big and grand that I'd achieved, like when someone's done like a marathon or something. And then like I said, I had to kind of step back with myself and be like, it doesn't have to be something major, just something you're proud of. And so the answer I came to, although it may not seem like a big thing to other people, it might seem quite like, I guess, small in the grand scheme of things. This was the one thing I could think of really. And that is just how much I've grown in my confidence and like independence and being able to go out by myself. If you're new around here, I do solo day outs every now and then. And just being able to go out by myself, be a bit more independent, gain confidence. I would say that's my proudest achievement. Like, like I said, that might not seem major to some people, but like I've always been quite a shy, I guess, reserved person. And I do think YouTube has helped with that. Like YouTube has helped to grow my confidence massively. But at the end of the day, I can only really put it down to God because I'm like, I used to be like so shy, couldn't even order my own food in a restaurant without being like nervous. I would like tell my order to my parents to then tell to the waiter, which kind of just blows my mind. And I know that some of you guys probably relate to this, but yeah, so I would say just growing in my confidence and independence and going out by myself and just being more confident. I would consider that my proudest achievement so far, to be honest, in my life. Originally, I was actually struggling to come up with an answer and it was my mum that kind of was like, well, what about this? You know, like you've done this. And I was like, oh yeah, because I actually had a moment in Starbucks the other day. I was on a solo day out. I was in Starbucks the other day and I had like a moment where I kind of just, I was just sat and it kind of just hit me. I was like, it kind of blew my mind that I am in Starbucks by myself. I've just ordered my own drink. I'm holding conversations with the staff. I think he's the manager. Like me and him have conversations basically every single week. And this particular day where it kind of like blew my mind and it kind of hit me, I just held like a really long conversation with him. And again, that probably doesn't seem like much to other people, but when you've always been like a shy, not very confident person, Moments like that just kind of blow my mind a little bit. I know that might sound silly, but yeah, it just kind of blows my mind how much I've grown in my confidence. And like I say, I thank God for that because I've never been a confident person and I really truly believe as much as YouTube has helped to grow my confidence and going out by myself has obviously improved my independence and confidence because you know, at that point, you have to order your own drink. You're the only one there. Um, I do ultimately thank God for that because I don't know, I just, I see how much I've grown in my confidence and I'm rambling right now, but I'm hoping this is making sense. I've just seen how much I've grown in my confidence and I'm just, yeah, I'm just really proud of that. So as much as that might not seem like a big thing to other people, I would say that's my proudest achievement currently is that I've grown in confidence, I've grown in my independence and I'm able to go out and do things by myself because I've never been a confident person. So yeah, I'm proud of that. 
<laughs> Let me know in the comments what your proudest achievement is. And a little bit of encouragement if you are like a shy person who finds it difficult to do things by yourself. All I would say is just try it. Like I never thought I'd be sitting here to tell you guys that I'm like able to go out by myself, super confident, have a conversation with the staff in the in like Starbucks and stuff, even in shops. I ask where things are now if I need to and I'm not like afraid to ask people anymore. I don't know. There's part of me that still kind of feels like it's kind of small and minor and silly. But like I said, a bit of encouragement if you do struggle with that yourself. You really do just have to do it. Like at the end of the day, you just have to try. And I promise you, it will get easier every time you do it. And eventually, who knows, you might be like me, holding conversations with the manager of your local Starbucks. So yeah, I do apologize, I rambled on that one. But yeah, I would say that's my proudest achievement. Another thing I did write down for that one though was just growing in my faith in general, I'm just really proud of how much I've grown, I guess, as a Christian and in my faith and my relationship with God. I'm really proud of that as well. And like the time I put into that and honestly just how open I am in my faith now. Like you may have seen the t-shirt I have. It's kind of like in the style of the friends writing and it says Jesus and then underneath it has he'll be there for you. I guess it's kind of like a little friends pun. Um, Honestly, one of my favorite t-shirts. I need more t-shirts like that. But yeah, I used to be like so nervous wearing that out because I was so worried about what people would think. And now I don't even think twice. I just wear it out. And I've had like compliments on that t-shirt. I've had it make people's day. Like I'm totally rambling and going off topic here, but I don't know if I mentioned this in a video or if I mentioned it on Instagram, but I went in a B&M one day when I was wearing that top. And I mean, this is irrelevant, but I think I was just buying some Kit Kats because they were cheaper in there than Asda. And I got to the checkout and the guy asked how I was and I asked how he was. Again, something I could never do before. So I'm proud of that. This has turned into a real ramble, but yeah, I, you know, obviously fired the question back, asked how he was. And I think his words, I can't remember exactly what his words were, but there was something like, I can't remember his words. He was like, oh, I'm just, you know, like continuing like everybody else or something like that. And it made me like so sad for him, even though I don't know him. And the thing that kind of made my day that day was I was wearing that Jesus t-shirt and he took a moment and he read my t-shirt and it made him smile and it cheered him up. And you know, that's why I do it. That's why I share it. And that's why I want more t-shirts like that. So I can kind of spread a little Jesus wherever I go, you know? But yes, yeah, so another thing I'm proud of is just, like I said, how I've grown in my faith and my confidence with my faith and I guess in, my confidence in general, I guess they all kind of go together. But yeah, I apologize. I rambled quite a lot on that question. Hopefully that answered it well enough for you guys. If you know anything about me, if you've watched any of my other videos, probably even in vlogs or on my other channel, you'll know I'm a rambler. <laughs> I talk a lot, that's just me. But yeah, so I hope that answered that question well enough. To sum up, I guess, two of my proudest achievements are just growing in confidence and independence and growing in my confidence in my faith and in my faith in general and my relationship with God. So yeah, next question. So the next question is, what are your favorite foods? So as far as snacks, I have one here with me. I've already eaten a bag of these today. These are the Novo Sour Cream and Onion Protein Pops. I tried these recently. I actually tried them in a YouTube short. So you can go check that out if you haven't seen my first reaction to these. I will link that in the iPad in the description. But I am obsessed with these. Okay, I can't tell you how many bags in the last few weeks of these I have bought. Basically every week I am buying more of these. These are my favorite snack at the moment. I absolutely love them. They are so good. So that's one of my favorites. I figured I'd bring a bag in with me since I had a spare bag um, to show you guys. Another favorite snack recently has been orange Kit Kats. I'm just obsessed with them. I've never really been massively fond of I guess like a classic Kit Kat. I've always preferred the orange ones. And recently I'm just like obsessed with them. <laughs> like they are definitely one of my favorite snacks at the moment. So they're like favorite foods as in snacks. Um, I've also been really loving feta again recently, feta cheese. And like I said before, as far as foods as in meals, I love pizza, I love pasta. They're two of my favorite things. Cheese and tomato pizza, cheese and tomato pasta, ham and pineapple pizza. Chicken pasta, tomato and feta pasta. I just love pasta, to be honest. <laughs> I really love pasta, mac and cheese. So yeah, I would say, yeah, my favorite foods, snacks wise are protein pops, the sour cream and onion flavor, and orange Kit Kats. They're like my two go-to snacks at the moment. And as far as like meals, I feel like it'll always be pizza and pasta. They're like my go-tos. I could eat pizza anytime. I could eat pasta anytime. I love them. So I would say they're my favorite foods as in like meals. And like I said, feta cheese. But yeah, so those are just some of my favorite foods at the moment. There are probably way more that I haven't thought of, but pizza will always be a go-to for me. So the next question is, have you always been a Christian? 
The short answer to this would be no. I would say no. I've always believed in God and I grew up with my nan kind of talking about God a lot whenever I was around her. Like even just in like simple ways, I guess. Yeah, like she would even just talk about him in like little ways, I guess. Like for example, I've always hated thunderstorms. I've always been like scared of thunderstorms. And one thing my nan would always say whenever there would be a thunderstorm, if she was at our house or if we were at hers, she would always just joke that it was just God moving his furniture around, like that's what the thunder was. And so my nan kind of always talked about God. So I've always kind of been around that, if that makes sense. And so I've always believed in God myself. And whenever we would stay at my nana's house, she would pray every night. And you know, I, as long as I can remember, have always prayed every single day. Like that's just something I feel like I got from her. And so I feel like I've always believed in God, but I wouldn't say I was always a Christian. Like I said, I've always believed in God. I prayed as long as I can remember. My nan would talk about him often in like little ways, like the thunderstorms and stuff. And I'd even read like Bible verses here and there. But yeah, I still wouldn't have considered myself a Christian at that point. To be really real with you guys and like really honest, for a long time, I didn't understand the cross and I didn't understand, I guess the purpose of Jesus. Like I didn't know why he died the way he did and what that was for and I guess the magnitude of that. And so I would say I only really started calling myself a Christian around 2020 when we were in lockdown and I was looking for a church at the time and I actually found the church that I'm with now. And that's kind of when I really started reading the Bible more and you know like I guess you could say attending church even though my church is online. I guess I'm still attending just not in person. And yeah that's when I really started you know like going to church. Like going to church since mine's online and like reading the Bible more and really learning more about it. And I would say that's probably the first time I really learned what the cross was all about and what Jesus was all about. And I guess what Easter was all about because that's Easter, isn't it? Like Easter is obviously like the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus. So yeah, I wouldn't say I started calling myself a Christian until about 2020. So I've only really been a Christian, I guess properly for the last four years. So no, I haven't always been a Christian. I always believed in God, but like I said, I didn't understand what it really meant to be a Christian, if that makes sense. Like I didn't understand, like I said, why Jesus died the way he did. Now I understand that. It's great. <laughs> now I understand that and I really understand the magnitude and the, not meaning, I can't think of the word, like the depth of why Jesus did what he did for us and what that means for me and for all of us. So yeah, like I said, haven't always been a Christian, but have been probably for like the last, four years. Hopefully that answered the question well enough for you guys. So the next question is, what are your favorite ways to spend your time? I would say I have quite a lot, to be honest. Before I started having a problem with my knee and my shins, dance was one of my favorite ways to spend my time. But I guess more current favorite ways to spend my time. I really love Pilates and I really love working out and stretching. I've really found a huge love for working out. And like I said, Pilates, I love Pilates so much. Oh my gosh, like seriously, I love Pilates. It's one of my favorite ways to work out. But just working out in general and stretching, I've really found a love for as well recently. I just love that it makes me feel good, you know? I love my solo day outs. I love just being out and about, being outside, going on walks. I live relatively near to a lake. I love to go for walks around the lake, especially in spring and summer. I just love being outside. I feel like it's just nice to be outside in the nicer weather. Um, and like I said, I love my solo day outs as well. I love just going to a coffee shop, sitting with my Bible and just like reading my Bible in a different environment, if that makes sense. And just kind of sitting, hanging out by myself with a drink, sometimes doing some editing, like things like that. I just love being out and about, especially in the nice weather. I just feel like it's so nice to get outside. I feel like I'm someone who hates being inside too much. I like to get outside quite a bit. I like to be out and about. On the flip side of enjoying being out by myself, I do also really enjoy hanging out with friends hanging out with my family, spending time with my friends and family. And of course, I love hanging out with my dogs as well and spending time with my dogs. If you're new around here, I have two dogs. I'll pop up pictures on the screen. We have Blaze, who is a Labrador crossed with a pointer. And then we have Chase, who is a bit of a mix. We call him a Springerdale, which is like a Springer Spaniel crossed with a Patterdale because I feel like that's mostly what he is. But his dad was a Springer Spaniel and his mum was a Jack Russell Patterdale. So I guess Chase is kind of a Jack Russell Patterdale Springer Spaniel. Um, he's quite like unique in that sense. Blaze is nine next month and Chase is seven. 
so yeah i love hanging out with my dogs as well and just like being around my dogs of course i also love my bible reading and spending time with god that's something i enjoy as well as a christian obviously that's something i enjoy like i said even on my solo day outs i like to just sit and kind of put my headphones in drink my hot chocolate eat my croissant <laughs> and put some worship music on and just read my bible so yeah i love spending time with god as well i guess that kind of ties in with spending time outside as well i just love i guess just being in god's creation like you know the world he created i love being outside in it i also love baking from time to time as well i feel like that's something i really found a love for during lockdown and everything i really started baking more and so I really enjoy that as well. And then the final thing I put on the list is I really like to just play video games. Recently, I've really been loving Disney Dreamlight Valley since the update. I've been loving Animal Crossing more again recently. I haven't played it in a while, but for a while I was loving Disney Speedstorm as well. It's kind of like Mario Kart, but Disney. And I was just surprised that it was free. I mainly downloaded it because it was free. But yeah, my two favorite video games at the moment, I would say are Dreamlight Valley and Animal Crossing. Mostly Dreamlight Valley. I love that game. I just find playing video games really relaxing, do you know what I mean? And I feel like the background music on Dreamlight Valley can be like really relaxing at times as well. So yeah, a long list there, but those are quite a lot of ways I like to spend my free time. I would say the most common like daily ones that I do like almost every day are obviously I'm with my family every day um, and my dogs playing video games and like working out and stretching they're probably the most common ones but that's just quite a long list of things I love to do at the moment so hopefully I didn't ramble too much on that question hopefully I answered it well enough for you guys okay we are nearly down to the final question I promise there's not much longer left of me rambling um, the next question is what did you study at A levels or sixth form so I actually didn't do A levels or go to sixth form I went straight from school into my first year of college and let me tell you, I did a mixed bag of things at college. So in my first year of college, I did hairdressing, but I'm gonna be really honest, I didn't like it. I could never remember how to do things, like particularly mixing colors. I could never remember how you mixed what together and how much of what for each color and stuff like that. But yeah, so in my first year of college, I did hairdressing, but I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. However, at the time, I did think that was what I wanted to do, like long-term. After that, I feel like I kind of took a year off and then when I went back to college again after that, I went in and did childcare, but midway through the course, I realized that wasn't what I wanted to do and that wasn't for me. And then after that, I did an employability course that the college kind of put me onto when I left the other course. I feel like it was kind of a thing they did when you left a course, they'd put you in that, or at least I guess like suggest it to you. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I am not sure how helpful that was to me because last year I really started to start feeling ready i guess to have like a regular job i had hoped that youtube in general would and social media would have worked out by that point but unfortunately that's not the way it went so last year i decided you know while i'm still working on this stuff i feel ready to go into like a regular job and i finally felt confident enough and yeah i still sit here with no job <laughs> I joke about it, but like it's been really frustrating. And so yeah, like I said, I joke that I don't know how helpful that course was for me. Maybe it's just because, you know, I didn't use the knowledge from the course right away, if that makes sense. Like, because I didn't feel ready to get a regular job. I keep feeling the need to like quote it at that time when I left college then. In fact, I actually can't remember if after I did that course, I asked my dance teacher at the time if she had anything because I'd done my work experience at the dance studio I was at at the time and I'd forgotten. I actually, I think I actually asked her if she had a job for me at the time and she didn't. So yeah, I totally forgot about that until right now. So, but yeah, off topic, I guess, like I said, it's just been really frustrating. I've been like reaching out to various different places and trying to find a job for the last year and nothing currently has worked out. But you know what? I'm trying to just hold on to the fact that the right thing will come at the right time and the right thing will work out at the right time and I'm trying to just leave that to God. But yeah, I got a little off topic there, didn't I? I guess it was kind of on topic because we were talking about employability. But yeah, so like I said, I did a mixed bag of things at college. I kind of did a fair few things. I did consider going into the dance course as well for a while, but they wanted me to sing. Like singing was a requirement of the course and I'm a dancer through and through. I don't want to sing. Um, and so that honestly was the thing that put me off that course was like there was no way around it but i guess never say never if a dance course did come up and there was a way around the singing or i didn't have to do it maybe i would do it i don't know obviously i don't know what the future holds so yeah to sum up like i said i did a mixed bag in college i did hairdressing i did 
a little short time in childcare. I did employability and I looked into the dance course but never obviously went anywhere with that. I never want to like fully rule out the dance course or like doing dance at a college but I also don't want to sing so like yeah. But yeah, so like I said, to quote Justin Bieber, never say never. <laughs> also, totally off topic, I am rambling but can we talk about their announcement? Can we please talk about Justin and Hayley's announcement for a second? I am so excited for them. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, Justin and Hayley announced the other day they're having a baby and I'm like so excited for them. I'm like fangirling on the inside, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to take a brief moment to talk about that because I am so happy for them and I'm so excited for them. I do apologize that I ramble a lot through Q&A videos. Even when I make notes, I always find myself getting off topic. Okay, so we are down to the final question, which is what is your favorite movie of all time? So I don't think I have one individual favorite movie of all time. I definitely have a favorite movie franchise and that would be the Fast and Furious franchise. But let's be real, there are so many movies in that franchise. I don't think I could actually pick one favorite. It would honestly be so much easier for me to tell you my least favorite from that franchise, which in case you are interested is Tokyo Drift. I'm just not really a fan of that one. I much prefer the ones with like the main characters in. So yeah, that's like a favorite movie franchise. But like I said, I don't think I could pick one individual favorite from that movie franchise. Maybe the seventh one is a slight favorite just because it has that kind of like sentimental meaning behind it with it being Paul Walker's last Fast and Furious. But like I said, I don't, I don't think I could pick a favorite ultimately from that franchise. The ones I've watched the most are probably like the first one, the fourth one, the sixth one, the seventh one, the eighth one and I've watched the ninth one a few times but I'm not sure it's one of my favorites and I do love the tenth one obviously as well but yeah I can't pick a favorite from the franchise. I just can't. There's just too many and I just love so many of them. Outside of Fast and Furious though, more of a recent favorite movie for me would definitely be the new Mean Girls movie. I know there's kind of mixed opinions on this movie. Some people really love it, some people didn't like it. For me personally, I really loved it and still love it. And I'm gonna be honest, I listen to the soundtrack like at least once a week still. So yeah, I would say that's definitely an all time favorite for me at the moment, like more of a recent favorite movie. But yeah, and then I guess just another movie that I've watched and like really enjoyed and maybe I would put up there with the favorites recently is Moana. So I'd seen it before, but I'd never actually seen it in full. I kind of missed probably like a good 10-15 minutes at the beginning and so the movie just didn't make sense to me at all. Can confirm watching it from the beginning it makes so much more sense but yeah I recently watched Moana for the first time in full and maybe I would put it up there with the favourites. I did really really love it. I just loved like the humour of the movie. Pooh the Pig is like my new favourite. I absolutely love that little pig. He is so cute. I kind of want like a plushie of Pooh the Pig, honestly. I just love him. But yeah, so like I said, maybe I would put that up there with the favourites as I did really enjoy it. And like I said, I love the humour of the movie, particularly like I guess the humour between like Maui and Moana. Like when he would just constantly keep throwing her in the ocean and the ocean would kind of bring her back up onto the boat. Especially the part where they go to like make a deal and he goes to shake her hand and then just like uses that to launch her into the ocean. I thought that was so funny. I loved the humor. Hey Hey the Chicken is honestly hilarious. So yeah, I would maybe put that up there with the favorites to be honest. I did really enjoy it. But like I said, the all time favorite will forever remain Fast and Furious. And I do think the new Mean Girls movie is a new all time favorite as well. So that was the final question, which brings us to the end of this different type of video for this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helped you to get to know me a little bit better. If you did enjoy it, I'm sure to give it a huge thumbs up to let me know. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any other questions for me and I'll answer them down there for you guys. If you're new to this channel, then be sure to subscribe for more vlogs and lifestyle content. And finally, if you would like to check out my previous vlog, then you can click right over here to watch that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon with another vlog. Bye guys!